transatlantic merger. Yeah, the US-based Chiquita, as in Chiquita Banana, is buying Europe's largest distributor, Fife's, for $526 million. Now, if that price tag seems a little bananas to you, think about this. The global banana industry is said to be worth some $7 billion, and the newly created Chiquita Fife's will become the world's largest distributor in that sector, as we should have a graph coming up shortly. It'll show you just there. You can see the new company will be responsible for about 29% of global exports. Now, the chief executive of Chiquita describes bananas as the most important food in the world, the lowest priced food with highest nutritional value and number one in the kitchen. Now, that is true in the U.S. at least, where the Department of Agriculture says the average American eats about 10 pounds of bananas. It's about five kilos every year. Uh, and the merger also, of course, has a very practical side. It will be based in Ireland, which is already headquarters for Fife, uh, and which already hosts, which, which boasts rather low corporate tax rates. So a bit of a boost there for the new company. Very much a bonus for them, isn't it? OK, we're going to move on to some more sober issues, uh, economic problems in Ukraine. And there is news of some economic aid. Yeah, the World Bank has announced that it'll be sending over $3 million in assistance to support economic reforms and development for that new government in Kiev. The International Monetary Fund has been taking the lead on the international aid front. Last week, its team on the ground said that it was very impressed by the new leader's determination and said it stood ready to help. The United States has already said that it will guarantee a billion dollars in loans and the EU at least 11 billion. European leaders meeting in Strasbourg this Monday, though, said they'll need guarantees that the money will be used wisely. This is not a blank check. It is a demonstration of our strong support for Ukraine in its current difficulties, but this support is not uh, without uh, an element of, of conditionality and some degree of, of rigor to make sure that this money will be used in, in the best way possible. Let's take a look now at how the markets have been doing. Trading has just opened here in Europe, starting out the day in the green there, as you can see, uh, after a very difficult session on Monday. This following in the footsteps of a recovery over in Asia as well. After sliding nearly 3% on Monday, the Shanghai Composite coming back into slightly positive territory there. Uh, the Nikkei also held steady, ending the day up as Japan's central bank said it wouldn't be making any changes to its monetary stimulus, uh, but slightly downgrading its outlook for exports. OK, right. Now, uh, here in France, a big bit of corporate news is about the mobile phone sector. I have to say, Kate, when I came here from the UK, I thought mobile phones and price plans were very expensive here in France. But you're telling me uh, they're actually quite competitive compared to some other countries like the US. Abs but, absolutely. But that could become less so uh, thanks to a new deal that's about to be signed. That's what the fear is anyway. As you said, France does actually offer very competitive uh, mobile phone costs, among the lowest in the world, as we'll see shortly. Uh, but with Bouygues Telecom and Numericable both in talks to take over SFR, those low prices may not last. Catherine Viette explains. The French know their mobile plans by heart. It's an unlimited calling plan with unlimited texts, and I pay 40 euros a month. It's 20 euros a month with unlimited texts and calls and up to 2 gigs of internet. With the ongoing price war between the four major operators, subscribers have seen their plans' costs drop. What did you pay before? I paid 72 euros per month. And now? With the same operator a year ago, I was offered a 25 euro a month plan. Between 2010 and 2012, the price of mobile plans has steadily decreased, with an 11.4 percent drop in the last month of the year. That's mainly been due to Free, a new low-cost operator that entered the market in 2012. In the latest rankings, France is the seventh cheapest country for mobile plans, behind Greece and Estonia, but ahead of Japan and also the United States. Like in France, four major operators have the lion's share of business, but this competition has not lowered prices. Over 200 a month for me and my husband. We pay a lot more for worse service than in most other countries. France could soon go from four operators down to three, sparking fears that less competition could lead to higher prices. 
Okay, and Kate, you've got some news about uh, the legalization of marijuana in one American state that's proving a bit of a financial boost for the state itself. Yeah, the state of Colorado legalized recreational marijuana use and sales back in January. It now says the state took in $2 million worth of taxes from those marijuana sales in January alone. It also raked in about $1.5 million uh, from licensing these new stores as well as taxes from medical marijuana sales, which had been, which had been legal for a couple years already. Uh, so a bit of a high note, if you will, for Colorado's <laughs> coffers. Yeah, lucrative stuff there. Thanks very much. Kate Moody there with a roundup of the business news. Let's uh, take a look now at the international newspapers. Uh, Florence Villemino has been thumbing through